for better or for worse, I remember everything. All the girls screaming next to me, and then my leg just started to kale, and I looked down, and then I was, oh my god. If he hadn't had the attention he had within five minutes, it could have been a whole different story. All the stars were aligned, and Jonathan, this happened in the right place with the right people. He was very lucky to survive. It's a short course, 30 second course. You make any one mistake, you don't have time to, well, make up for it. Jonathan was in the gates. So we were like cheering him on in the gate. He was having a really nice run. I was videoing him, and I remember seeing his ski came off. Didn't look like anything serious. So I immediately turned the video up and panned up the hill. As I panned back down the hill, it became very obvious that something was really, really wrong. Kim, you might want to come down here. Jonathan comes down the hill, loses the ski. Ski goes up on edge, and he rides the rail right down. The edge of that ski, you can see from the toe piece to the tip, was just red. There was a big trail of red blood across. And then I looked down, and my whole leg was just open. We didn't really know what to do, but luckily there was a group of trained people there that went straight to him and helped him out. I mean, instinct just said stop the bleeding, but, but the amount of blood that was coming out was extremely fast. So I think we all were thinking the same thing at the time. It's going to take a uh, tourniquet to slow that bleeding down. And I'm screaming for somebody to call the ski patrol and somebody to get me what I can use for a tourniquet. We just had to improvise. This lady who was a gatekeeper saw what happened and immediately took her belt off and handed it to those guys. Jonathan says to me, I feel tired. That's an SOS, that means you're bleeding, you're bleeding out. At that point, I was just trying to stay awake. The ski patrol were there very quickly, and I want to say within three to five minutes, he was on a sled and, and on his way down. When I walked into the emergency room, I could tell it was just a really bad situation. He had a major laceration to the middle of his thigh, uh, injuring uh, blood vessels and muscle. He had a lot of bleeding. If the same injury happened, 90% of the time, he probably wouldn't have survived it. The fast reactive response likely gave Jonathan's odds, you know, in his favor. They all had just had tourniquet training. Stop the bleed training definitely saved my life. The Stop the Bleed training course is, is essentially one hour to teach people uh, what is life-threatening injuries and what can be done, and people can actually do what they have just been taught to do. So I looked into it and saw that I could be certified as a teacher because I'm a nurse. You learn how to identify a life-threatening bleed. You learn how to apply a tourniquet correctly. It's so much simpler even than CPR. I definitely feel prepared after taking the class that I could put a tourniquet on someone and save their life. Going forward, carrying these Stop the Bleed kits for um, an accident like this is really, really important. The techniques that are taught in this are being utilized by lay people to save lives. I feel like I'm taking a tragic situation and making something positive about it. If I can save another child or another parent from going through what Jack and I went through, that'll mean the world to me. I'm definitely just more thankful for everything and the training that's around that I could definitely teach other people also. I'm really excited just to start skiing again. My name is Jonathan Davis. Please consider taking a Stop the Bleed class.